It's crazy that in such a big city, you can still feel so lonely. London houses over 8 million people, yet it's still hard to find that special someone. But fear not, there are hundreds of different resources at your fingertips, ready to give you a helping hand. London School of Attraction, for example, offers classes in helping you find that special someone for a meagre sum of only £850 for a weekend. So, if you're feeling lonely this winter and are willing to flash some plastic, then get in there. So how did the London School of Attraction come about? How did you first get into it? So the London School of Attraction came about when Alex and I met actually working for a different company. So I'd been working in this industry for maybe two years, just I uh, had a day job and I was doing it in part time, just coaching uh, many guys. And then I met Alex, uh, working for a company that coached men and coached women as well. And he was doing a lot of the women's coaching and I was doing the men's coaching. And we looked at it and we decided we wanted to set up our own business. This was about three years ago, at the start of 2010. Um, because we felt that we could, we could do coaching that was a high quality. We felt that, that there was a big market for this sort of information and this sort of help, but it wasn't being serviced well. So over the last three years, we started off writing a blog and getting interest that way. And a lot of newspapers, and the Metro, the Daily Express, Daily Mail were interested in what we're doing, so we went into and spoke to those newspapers. And we just sort of built up our client base and our reputation that way. First thing to say how we're different is that we cater in, in from different areas. So we do men's coaching and women's coaching, we do online online dating um, advice as well. Uh, in terms of the quality, we just utilise our background as professional teachers. We do all of the coaching ourselves, so we don't, a lot of other companies outsource their coaching. So they get clients and then they pay someone £15 an hour to, to coach. Alex and I have said from the start that we wanted all of the coaching. Okay, so tip number one is if you like somebody, go and talk to them. That is the most important thing. Don't let them walk past. Don't think about talking to them. Don't think about what you're going to say. Just let your feet move and start the conversation. Don't let them walk past. Number two. Don't just ask a lot of questions when you're in conversation with someone. If you see somebody you like, and you're just asking questions, they're gonna think, why should I speak to this guy? Um, I don't even know him. Also, you're putting all of the conversational pressure on her. So take some of the burden and do the talking yourself. Third thing, if you're approaching a girl in the day, the key thing that she's gonna be worried about is, well, who's this guy? Where's he come from? What, what's he doing? Why is he talking to me? What you need to do is make her feel comfortable, make her feel relaxed, talk to her about what's happening. So saying things like, oh, I know this is a little bit strange in the middle of the day, or I was just over there and I saw you walking past. Just contextualize all of the time what is happening. When you're talking to people, don't try and be someone you're not. There's a lot written on the internet and in books like The Game about going out with a deck of cards or dressing in a strange way or starting conversations in a strange way. If you're somebody you're not, the problem is you're just not going to have these conversations. You're not actually going to do this because it will feel incongruent with who you are. So yes, there are good ways of talking to people, but make sure that you're having conversations that you want to have, talking to people in the way that you want to talk to them. Just be a human being.